Okay, today we're going to look at drawing ray diagrams for lenses. The physicsclassroom.com has some great interactive HTML5s, which means they will run on your phones and tablets. So we go into the interactive for lenses and mirrors, expand it to go full screen. Okay, I like to turn off rays uh, 1, 2, and 3. Make sure we're on lenses, we're on the converging. If I click on ray 1, we'll notice that we've got a candle. We can switch that to the arrow, which you've been using in the past. Uh, we look at ray number 1. Ray number 1 is going parallel, hits the center of the lens, it goes through the focal point. So let's just keep an eye on that ray. I'm now going to move the object back and forth, and you notice that ray number 1 always starts parallel to the principal axis goes to the center line of the lens, then goes through the focal point. And it does not matter where my object is, it will. Ray number two. Ray number two goes through the focal point till it hits the center of the lens. When it comes out on the other side, it is parallel to the principal axis. And again, if I move this back and forth, you'll notice that that ray is always doing that. Okay, and ray number three, which we might use from time to time, we look at what it's doing, goes from the tip of the object directly through the optical center of the lens and comes straight through. So if I move this object back and forth, you'll notice that it always goes straight through the center of the lens and out the other side. So just like we've done in the past, if we're drawing a ray diagram, we click on ray number one, we observe what happened, went parallel to the principal axis through the focal point, then we can turn on ray two, goes through the focal point, comes out parallel, put the two together. We got a ray diagram, which is showing that the image is on the opposite side. And because a lens is designed to have light going from one side to the other, this would be a real image on the other side. Now onto our ray diagrams. So this is the converging lens, sometimes called the double convex. When we draw these, you draw a vertical line down the center of the page, almost like a normal dotted line. Make a very slim looking lens, which is symmetrical on both sides. Principal axis runs right through the middle of the lens, uh, which is labeled PA. We have an F prime to F prime marked on the left hand side of the lens. And on the opposite side, we've got an F and a 2F. This is called the primary focal point. This is just double the focal point or focal length, I should say. And as it was in the past with the mirrors, the distance from the center of the lens, which is this dotted line to F, is exactly the same thing as the distance from F to 2F. And if we go to the other side, it's the exact same thing. So this was measured out at 3 centimeters. This would also be 3 centimeters. And if it's 3 centimeters on the right, it's also 3 centimeters to the left. So in this case, we've got the object placed here. This would be object behind 2F prime. Let's make our ray, ray number one, parallel to the principal axis till you hit the center of the lens. Then from the center of the lens, it goes exactly through the focal point. Put your arrows, make sure that you have them, otherwise these are not rays. So there's ray number one. Ray number two, from the tip of the object through F prime till you hit the optic center of the lens. Then it comes out parallel, putting our arrows on. Where the two rays cross is where we will find our image. So if we were to salt this, the size is smaller than the object, attitude is inverted, location is between F and 2F, and this is a real image. If we put the object right on 2F prime, the ray is parallel to the principal axis through the focal point. Second ray through the focal point until you hit the center of the lens and then out parallel. Now, in this case, the image should be directly below 2F, and I can see right here that my ray was off a tiny bit, and that's why this one is off. 
your image is exactly the same size as the object. It's located directly at 2F. It is inverted and it is also a real image. Now we have our object placed between 2F prime and F prime. Parallel to the principal axis, then it goes through the focal point. Through the focal point till you hit the lens. And out parallel. And here is where we will have our image formed. I just got to move it over a tiny bit. So, image is larger than the object. It is inverted. It is located behind 2F, and it is a real image. And now for the last one, we put our object right on F prime. Parallel. Through the focal point. Now, we can't really draw ray number two, which would be through the focal point in parallel, simply because we are on the focal point. So then we go to ray number three, which from the animation showed us, go from the tip of the object exactly through the optic center of the lens, which would be something around here. And what we will see is that the two rays emerging from the lens are parallel. And if they're parallel, there will be no image formed.